So you can't really be a good marketer if you don't know your numbers. And you don't know your numbers if you don't understand your customer lifetime value because it informs your entire marketing strategy and how much you can pay per channel to get an acquisition. So you have to know your customer lifetime value. So today I'm gonna go over customer lifetime value and four other really important marketing and financial metrics that are gonna make you a better marketer and a better business person. Let's dive into it. Before you get started, make sure to click the notification bell and make sure to subscribe so that you can get more videos like this in the future. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna go over today, number one is average purchase value. So average purchase value is the average amount that somebody spends when they make a purchase. And that's a really important thing to understand because you can know that number and then back it into things like your return on ad spend. So when you're looking at this number, average purchase value, number one, is total revenue divided by the number of orders. That's gonna tell you how much the average purchase is out of all the different purchases out there, and you can use that to associate amount of money with a goal. Okay, item number two is average purchase rate frequency. So what this number is gonna tell you, it's gonna tell you how much people generally purchase, how much any customer will generally purchase, right? And that's really important because it lets you know what a good number is when you're looking at a customer, how many times they should be purchasing. So when you look at a customer, you'll know if they're over or under, and it's a good indicator if you can raise that amount and take it from three or four purchases to five or 10, obviously that's gonna be beneficial for the business. So item number two, Average purchase rate frequency is calculated by the number of purchases simply divided by the number of customers. Okay, item number three, your customer value. How valuable is that customer? So how do you determine that? Well, the way you determine that is by looking at the average purchase value, so how much an individual purchases, and then looking at the average purchase rate frequency, so how often people are purchasing that. By doing these two things together, you're gonna to get the number that's going to allow you to know the customer value. Okay, item number four is a really important one because it's gonna tell you how long your customers stay with you. And that's a really important thing for most businesses to understand the customer duration. So item number four, the way that you calculate the average customer lifespan is by taking the sum of all the customer lifespan. So looking at all your customers, looking at how long they've been with you, right? And then taking the sum of that and then dividing it by the number of customers that you have. That's gonna give you your average customer lifespan. That's a really good number to look at. If it's five months, maybe you wanna to try to make it a benchmark and a goal to make that seven months. If it's two years, maybe you wanna make it three years, right? By looking at these indicators as a business owner, a marketer, whoever, you're able to understand if the pulse of the business is moving in the right direction. Okay, item number five, the most important one for many people, which is the customer value. So the customer value calculation is done like this. The customer value times the average customer lifespan. So looking at the value of that customer times the average customer lifespan. That's gonna give you the amount for how much every single customer is worth to you. Now, people like to back that out a lot of times by taking costs and then subtracting cost by that customer value so that you, you can kind of understand maybe what the net income level is within any individual business model. So kind of the money that's off the top when it comes to any given customer within the particular business model that you're running. The reason for that is there's advertising and marketing costs, there's, you know, there's general overhead, there's so many things that go into running a business, but in its most basic form, the way that you determine the customer lifetime value is customer value times the average customer lifespan. My phone died and now I'm back the next day. Let's finish this up really, really quick. Okay, so customer lifetime value equals customer value times average customer lifespan. So for example, $1,000 of a customer value, so total transactions and all that that we just went over, times 10, so 10 months for example, and you can do that in whatever duration that you want that makes the most sense, 
gives you $10,000, right? So that's gonna be your total customer lifetime value. But let's take that a step further and kind of talk about why that's really important in marketing and advertising. So here's what you need to know, okay? There's this thing called return on ad spend and return on ad spend is calculated by gross revenue from an ad campaign divided by the cost of the ad. Okay, so gross revenue from the ad campaign divided by the cost of the ad, and that's a really great benchmark. But how does that play a role into the customer lifetime value? Well, you can't understand the gross revenue from the ad campaign if you're just uh, assigning an arbitrary number to it, right? If you're just saying, oh, a conversion's worth $100 or something like that. So let's, let's take a look at this, okay, and how you really assign that exact gross revenue, okay? So with any ad campaign, you look at the audience size, the click-through rate, the conversion rate, the amount of conversions that you've gotten, but here's the next step. Not just the amount of conversions, but the amount of conversions that have actually turned into a customer, right? And then if you know that, and you know your customer lifetime value, then you can do a calculation like this, right? Where basically, if you know that $10,000 is your actual customer value, and you divide that by your total cost of ad spend, which in this example is $2,000, you're gonna find out that you have a five to one return or a five time return, okay? And then based off of that, you can make decisions. You can look at all of your different advertising, you can use the correct customer value, and you can really decide how much you want to invest in marketing because if you're just looking at conversions and you're just saying that I'm willing to pay $200 for a conversion, in many cases that does not take into account customer lifetime value, which is incredibly important, a metric that everybody needs to know. Otherwise, you can't really effectively scale your marketing from a business model perspective. That's it for customer lifetime value today. If you have any questions, let me know. See you next time. Bye.